Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing part of this lovely um, flower wreath. Um, this is from World of Flowers and in the 2021 um, weekly planner. And I thought I would have a go at this um, honeysuckle. Um, I really like honeysuckle and I really enjoyed colouring this in World of Flowers. So I thought I would have a go and show you how I did it. Um, I'm actually using different pencils but that's okay. And um, we've actually got some quite good colours here. Now for me, honeysuckle has a sort of peachy but also a pinky look to it. So I'm going to grab these two stud Stedler Ergosoft pencils and have a go with these. So I have got number 25 and number 43. I rarely use number 43 so it will be a good chance for me to have a go at using it and I'm going to start with it and do the um, bottom parts of the honeysuckle and what I'm doing is I'm going to put a darker layer in near the edge of the leaf and then fade it out towards the tip and then hopefully We'll be able to pop some pink in there and uh, and fade that in and get a um, sort of multicolour look. I'm not sure whether I've got this back to front and whether Honeysuckle would normally have um, the... Um, whether it would normally have the pink on the bottom and the yellow on the tip or whether I've just imagined it and that isn't what it looks like at all but anyway it's fun have a go so I guess we're sort of halfway through the planner now thinking about sort of July so uh, that's interesting I wonder how many of you are keeping up with all of the pictures it's quite um, in a way it's a little daunting and tricky but other but it also good because it keeps you colouring. It sort of almost forces you to do a little bit each week, a little bit of self-care. So now we're going to use number 25. I don't want it too dark, but I need to have differentiation between where it blends and where it's um, just peach. So I need to make it darker here and then reduce it here and just blend it in and do the same here oh we've missed some there hang on need to go back to the number 43 to do these ends here did you spot it? how quick were you? did you spot it before me? back to our pink, our 25. I think this um, is working out quite well. I'm quite happy with my colour choices. You may decide to choose something different. You may have a different set of pencils of course and uh, have to use something a little different. But these tips, we can't see the, um, the bases so they're just pink. I really like honeysuckle, it smells really lovely. My mum um, gets hay fever and uh, honeysuckle is one of the things that makes us sneeze the most. So uh, we could never have any in our garden growing up. Um, my neighbour used to have some lovely honeysuckle on her fence um, but she was always wanted to be very pleasing, she was lovely. And one day I happened to mention that I pruned the honeysuckle on my side of the fence just a little bit and the next day it had gone. She took the whole thing down because she thought it was offending me when it really, really wasn't. It was such a shame, such a misunderstanding. But uh, I do have another neighbour who has some that I can see from my window. Um, hers is yellow and white though, but uh, it's very pretty. 
but uh, I don't I should just pop some in my own garden but uh, I'm not very good at growing things and that sort of thing now for the little dots I'm gonna go back to this oh excuse me number 43 I don't know why I suddenly had a yawn I'm sorry I'm not tired really so I'm just going to do these little dots in this one just because it's near to the pink tip so it just look a little bit different and I think they're usually yellow but I couldn't say for sure okay I'm going to do a little bit of the greenery I'm just going to move it up a tad now honeysuckle I'm just looking out of my window to see my neighbour's greenery on hers it's quite pale um, it's rather pretty I think I'm going to just use two colours I'm going to start with the number 52 and I'm going to just do some areas that I think might be a little bit darker so around the edge just to try and give this bit a little bit of shape and then bring it towards the centre lightly so we've got a darker bit on the edge and for the stem bring it down excuse me I'm going to have to blow my nose I'm really sorry I'm sorry, I guess I should have paused it, but I get a bit confused in editing if I have too many pauses in my um, filming. So for the leaves, I'm going to do my usual darker application here and a bit lighter towards the tip. And uh, let me see, how much can you see? We'll just do this set. We won't go too far through or else we'll... Um, I get too much the same and uh, just take it up to not all the way necessarily just fade it along so to fade it just press a bit harder down at the bottom here I'm still not pressing that hard because I don't want it to be that dark but I am quite heavy-handed so it comes out quite dark even when I'm not pressing that hard and then fade it up there we go and then the color I am going to use on top is the number 50 I shall start up here I shall just do it lightly over the dark because I don't want um I want the dark to show and then on the tip of this one I just sort of blend it into the color that's there just go through them all. Now with a wreath like this I will sometimes do all of the greenery in the same colours so that it doesn't look too much of a mishmash of colours. Whether I do that on this one I'm not sure because we do have um, quite a lot of the flowers repeating. So we have three heads of honeysuckle, we have um, we have three of most flowers actually so there aren't going to be lots and lots of different colours in this so I think I might um, have different um, different shades of green but I will probably just decide as I go and it might depend what matches the next flower that I do what colour works so there we go, I'm just going to do that a little more and then we'll be done. There, I'm going to leave that there, I think that's uh, come out quite well. I hope you um, like it and uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and happy colouring. <laughs>